Welcome to Mercy's Designs. My name is Mercy and I sell Stampin' Up! products. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you Hugs from Shelly May 2019 Paper Pumpkin Alternative. I brought in a couple stamp sets, including Good Morning Magnolia, right here. And I also used from Bird Ballot, like this leaf, and this um, cutout bird was from the DSP Bird Ballot. So, actually this is free as a bird, <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyhow, um, so to get started, I will show you how I made this card. I used the envelope they um, included. So here's the envelope and I just cut it with my paper um, guillotine on the edges and then uh, I opened it up and I cut and used this part. So um, I will bring in my pieces to show that a little bit. So here's what I came up with. And then um, with the nested stitch nested dies, I'll bring that in, I um, took this and ran, ran it through. This does not cut, but it will give you that beautiful stitching. So I also use these for um, the other card as well. All right, um, but I also wanted to explain a little bit about this gorgeous, um, shiny, um, embossing that I did. And this is super simple and they are actually all Stampin' Up! products. So if you do not want to go to a different line or you want to um, just use what you have might have on hand, I use the silver embossing powder and the dazzling diamonds um, glitter. Sorry, I'm kind of stumbling today. <laughs> Anyway, um, so it's a two to one ratio. Here's my spoon. So it's really simple. I would suggest start with your embossing powder because the, and this is not obviously really precise. I just, and you can use a regular spoon. It doesn't matter. This is something I happen to have left over from my kid, <laughs> these little spoons. And then one, of this um, dazzling diamonds. So these are the dazzling diamonds is kind of a little bit messy, but when you heat emboss it, it's a lot less messy actually. So you just want to kind of stir it up, and that's pretty much all. So now I have that should last me quite a few months. That little bit actually, it goes so far, as you know. Okay, so we're going to quickly do a little bit of stamping, and it appears I forgot my embossing buddy. Oops. So use your embossing buddy. Imagine I'm doing that. And you're going to quickly stamp two times for your magnolia. I think I need to re-ink this soon. And then you will need one of the leaf and not and the feather, excuse me that is included in the Hugs from Shelly kit. So I will go ahead and stamp that. And we will do the embossing. So um, with this mixture, nothing changes. So you just go ahead and do it exactly like you would do regular embossing. So nothing, there's no, okay. I might not have gotten that one well. So we'll just quickly do one more. I'm not sure how that happened, but it would help. I think I know it would have helped if I used my um, cushioning because this is a photopolymer and the other wasn't. But again, I didn't bring it over. So we will just quickly make this work. And I looks like I missed it a little bit on the stem here. All right, I'm gonna start my heat gun. And get this put away, out of the way. So we don't have that getting messed up, messing up our work surface. Okay, so I, I, I do like to preheat it a little. And then all I do is first bring it here and it just, embeds that glitter into the embossing powder and it's just lovely. I love doing that and then pairing it with the glimmer paper 
and it just complements each other then. So I almost got this. Oh, and that one we messed up with. So I'm not going to be too concerned to get that one. Or I messed up. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there, but I think, well, I'll just do it so I don't get my hands in it. But, all right, so that's how I add some sparkle to my embossing, and it's just very, very simple. Okay, so next will be the coloring. I use the Petal Pink Mint Macaron, and I use my pen here, Wink of Stella. So what I like to do is first start off with my darker blend and this one is the um, Petal Pink Dark and then just come in and just kind of hit some of the lines that Stampin' Up! already has prepared for us essentially. And I don't spend a ton of time on doing that part. It's just, okay. So I won't do both of them because it would take a while and I don't want to waste your time. But I did want to kind of give an idea how I colored this and how it is pretty quick. And the other thing I suggest is actually leaving some white. So as you can see with these, especially the bigger branches, just leave some white. Show that real quick. There we go. And now we're going to do the same with the mint macaron. Um, it, you can start with the leaves if you prefer, or you can just do the petals first of the flower. It's totally up to you. I do like starting with the dark first, though, of the blends, because then the light blends in the dark and it kind of saves a step. So you don't have to go back in and blend. Now you could do a little bit more blending if you want, but I think it's pretty good this way. So here's how it's looking. And then the Wink of Stella, got to shake that up, actually is a blending tool as well in many respects. It will blend the colors further, I find it does. So it just adds an extra sparkle. I do have the dies for this, but I will not be showing how to die cut the beautiful magnolia bud. And then for coloring the um, feather, I can't think. All I'm doing is using my, um, this, this is called a blender pen. I know it sounds very similar to the blends, so it can be a little bit confusing. I'm just using this to pick up some ink. I do not have the blends yet in this color, but I do plan to. It'll make it a little simpler and faster yet, but this is a, definitely a good alternative if you're waiting on it like I am. So then you just clean it off like so. Oh, I did the wrong one. <laughs> oh well. I won't finish it, but I'll just show one real quick thing. What I did was I just added a little dark on the edges and then blended in. Boy, I'm a goof here. Okay, imagine this is a good one. <laughs> here. I can't believe I just did that. Oh well. Alright, so that is how it will look. But, of course, through the magic of TV, I've already done that, and I will bring in my, my pieces now. So here are the beautiful magnolias and the leaf, and this, of course, is going to be done right. I just want to show you these. These are just so pretty. So I got my idea with coloring one side the dark from um, the kit. They actually show that with their vellum one, and it's just really pretty. Great ideas. You can take a lot of like tips like that from Stampin' Up! 
and it's just really quite beautiful. All right, so we're gonna bring this in and we're going to adhere these two together. Just grab my glue. Because there's this crease here, I hate to cut that up, but oh well. I definitely love that um, pattern of the DSP on the back of this envelope, inside the envelope it would be. So I, you have to kind of make a choice which one <laughs> you're gonna keep and which one you're gonna sacrifice. But to me, um, it's easier to have the labels make a label because I have the stitch nested that dies than it is to um, get this paper. This whole pattern is just gorgeous. So again, you have to make a choice. It's sad, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> um, so next I'm going to bring in my twine and this little strip here. Now I'm using this strip to cover up. You could use the ribbon as well, the velvet ribbon but I want it a little bit flatter. So essentially I'm just gonna come in here and go right at that line because I want most of it to be up here, the space. So as you can see, that looks, oh, could be a little straight, but that's good. Then with the twine, you are essentially, what I do is I grab the piece I want to make the bow with and then I begin wrapping. So wrap it and I just thought about it. I'm going to be making a bow on camera. <laughs> we shall see how this goes. Okay. Um, of course this is the twine so maybe it won't be so bad. Fingers crossed though. Because bows Online sometimes do not go well. Okay, it's not too bad. It's kind of curling a little, but you know, that's usually often what happens with Baker's twine anyway. Okay, so I'm just gonna snip those, and then um, we will go ahead, attach this, and then we'll start building the card. I will need to do a little bit more stamping with the um, sentiment. And the Poppin' Birthday, which was, I think, the March 2019 kit is what I used for the sentiment for this card because I needed a couple birthday cards. The Paper Pumpkin kit that time was centered around birthdays. So I thought, you know, I'm just going to borrow that one. And some of you might have that. And that will be, like, maybe give you an idea. So I'm just going to put this aside for the time being and bring in my stamparatus. Now I've already gone ahead and adhered this and I've attached it. I kept this um, form, if you will. So I went ahead and popped one in here and I taped it a little bit. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of masking. I like to first, I'm gonna first mask the lower one and just to Change. No, I don't think I'll change it up because I kind of liked having you really bold. So this is completely obvious, but the most important thing here <laughs> is to remove your mask. That's the only tricky part about this type of masking. And believe it or not, oh, I didn't, I tape, I didn't hold it in enough. So um, just, and the other thing is not to get your hands with the ink. I'm just going to rub on my clothing just to make sure. And I'm going to pop this back in. I guess I didn't tape it quite well enough. I should have had more tape on that edge to keep it still. And then um, you will want to use your chamois to, of course, clean this off because you're going to now mask the upper part. And hopefully it will dry enough, but just to be sure, I'm just going to run my fingers here just to make sure it's 100% dry. And grab my tape, and we're going to mask this upper part now. And I like doing the two colors because it just kind of draws your eye more when you have two colors. Plus you get to use your, oh, you know what? 
Yeah, no, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm like, is that the right color? Yes. I use Pretty Peacock here. Love that co new color. It's the new ink color. Ooh, I missed a little. Well, let's see if I can kind of cheat here because the part that I missed is the lower part. And anyhow, this color, ooh, I see a little bit missing. So I'm gonna have to hit that again. Yeah, well, oh well, I'm not gonna worry about it because you know what? It just kind of looks like a weathered look more. <laughs> we'll, we'll call it that anyhow, just so that, because I'm afraid I can't quite line that up. It'd take some time. I don't wanna waste time doing that, but you can use your form here, if you will to punch and it would have helped if this was my first round as far as like it was still attached. I wouldn't have had all those issues, but it wasn't. So, all right, let's continue assembling the card and I will, we'll move on to the next one. I will bring in the rest of the elements. Sounds like communion. <laughs> I just realized I was saying elements. Anyhow. Okay, so these pearls just are going to be carrying over and they're just beautiful. So um, what I did with my other one is kind of arranged it up here, but I will go ahead and attach our um, beautiful sentiment. If I can get my dimensionals to work, I'm just going to chop a few because I definitely want to make sure that this is straddling. I meant to give one and I gave two. It's okay. It's fortunately kind of, actually, you can actually lift a dimensional if you just set it down and you didn't press on it. It's not too hard. So just an FYI, if you make that kind of mistake, no big deal. All right. So. Now, just take off these backings real quick. And I know some people can do it with their pokey tool, and that's pretty cool, but I haven't mastered that yet. All right. My nails are halfway decent, so I don't have acrylic nails, which are pretty, but you know what? I'm not into that, so I'm not going to make myself be into it. Oh, yeah, here we go. So. Just trying to make it nice and straight. And here you can see how pretty it is with the two colors with the mint macaron and the pretty peacock. I, I really do like that combination. I am doing a sampler and I that's one of the combinations I have in the whole sampler using this magnolia and the sailing home set. And it's just gorgeous. So I Maybe we'll try to do a um, tutorial on that sampler, but I want, to, if I do, I kind of feel like I want to wait till I get the blends because it's kind of time consuming to try to do with the blender pen where I needed the blue. All right, so here we have the beautiful. Um, so the beautiful feather. I love, the love that feather. Just gorgeous, just amazing. Okay, come on glue. Gotta talk to it and then it'll come out. So what I did here was I kind of chopped off a little bit here. So kind of figure out which angle. You don't have to be too exact because here, and let's see, I think I didn't allow enough. Yeah, I should have been over a little bit. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let me see what my original, yeah, there, that's fine. Okay, so again, I'm just chopping off some and then it's gonna look kind of rough right there, which is why I decided, you know what would be really cool? <laughs> is to use this little center. This is for the Magnolia Center, the 3D Magnolia they include the dies for if you buy the die set for Good Morning Magnolia. And I'm trying to get 
Okay, I actually could have used a glue dot here, but this will work. So this kind of ooh, creates a kind of a transition, if you will, which I like. I almost have this completed, this first card. And the only thing you want to make sure here is you do not put it, the feet. You do not um, put anything on the feet because the feet will be resting on your sentiment. I almost lost that little sucker. So I made a really thin strip here because I want that on the tail of my birdie. There we go. And we'll get this card finished in no time. So then here I just want it kind of accent and kind of be between the two. So there, there we have it. Isn't that gorgeous? I'll bring the original back in. These are very similar. I didn't do much differently other than it's a different color bird. But, oh, the pearl. I almost forgot the pearl. So that's the last thing. My pokey tool. These are going to be discontinued. So that's very sad. If you haven't gotten one, you definitely should. It's like my go-to tool. All right, so there we have it. What do you think? Just beautiful, I think. This one is just stunning. And then we will go to this card. And I did do a few steps for this one because I don't want to make this terribly long, this tutorial. So I'll bring in the pieces for that one and explain a little bit about it. So first we'll do a little bit of stamping. I'm going to um, stamp these birds. And unfortunately I did forget my cushion. Well, no, wait, I have it. It was in the corner here. Okay, definitely it's a good idea when you're stamping on a, a with the um, photopolymer to use some kind of cushioning. So I will now bring in the birds. I call these swallow birds, I don't know why. I guess they feel like a swallow swooping around. A barn swallow, I think of them as, but they're probably for more for uh, live around the sea. So they just stamp really pretty and just very easy. And then um, the other thing I did was I heat embossed the um, feather, but I won't show that. But I just wanted to show how quick and easy that is. And then I talk a little bit about the embossing. So this carried over the country floral. And what I did was ran a whole sheet. It's a normal one. It's five and a quarter by four inches and half of five and a quarter is two and five eighths. And I lined it up on the corner. So picture this at two and seven eighths and three and um, one and three eighths. And I cut it in half. And it ended up not being exact. This was the waist. And this is the other half. So can you, but when you're adding this sh little bit of shimmery um, silver paper, it really doesn't matter. And it doesn't have to be super exact. So the paper, what I did was I attached glue dots actually on the, this paper because it attaches a little easier and then lined it up and put it here and then I cut off straight. So you just kind of line it up with the paper and you cut it off. But I didn't want, again, didn't want to take too much time with this card. This was the bonus card. So here is my base and this is the gorgeous new color and it's called Seaside Spray. And then of course this is Mint Macaron. So I will bring in my little label here and back in my cushioning. So what you want to do here is we have two stamps and I want to um, stamp for you, friend. So what I did here 
Um, what I'm going to do with this one is slightly different than the original one. I'm going to use gray the for you. And we're going to use the Seaside Mist, I think. Yeah, where is that? Oh, here it is, the ink pen. I'm just like trying to find that ink pen. Okay, so that wasn't too well inked. But it's a much lighter, and I'm essentially just for you. And it's pretty easy to get some color without having to mask. You just had to, because it's clear, you can just look through it, and it's not a really big stamp. So I'm not going to write that, have that deer. So it's for you, friend, instead of with deer. Okay. So far, so good. Just going to close that up so I don't get my hands and in ink. That's always not a good thing. All right, so the mint macaron is next. And my stamp, oh, here it is. So when you're stamping this, you want to stamp off two times. One, two, because this will be horrifically covering otherwise. Because the mint macaron is obviously much darker than the seaside spray. So you have this nice little like background, it looks like, on it. I think it's a nice little touch anyhow. So here is our card and we will start building. Now, this is the glimmer paper, and it is hard to, it takes some time for it to dry, so the quickest thing is to use your glue dots to attach this to the glimmer paper. I definitely would recommend doing that. Oh, just add it by attaching it, pushing it down, kissing it on, very simple. Glue dots are the bomb. If you do not have glue dots, you're missing out because they just make life so much simpler. All right, so I'm going to have the border even on three sides. So I'm going to have a larger border here. I think that looks pretty straight. Quickly glue this on, and then we'll start getting our birds in place. I Really, really enjoyed this kit, the Hugs from Shelly. This is my fourth tutorial I've made. So definitely check those other ones out. If you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed watching this, please give me a thumbs up. And I just got a little glue there, oops. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and attach this fairly low and I'm not sure if I'm going to put all three birds on or not because, oh, actually, I don't want it too close there. I want it more or less centered. Okay. And the reason why is because I'm going to be attaching a label instead of directly stamping on. It looks, it blends in. But I think that it might be a little better in the end because it, when I, with my original one, it did cause some warping of my paper. So I thought, you know what? It might be kind of cool to look. I could have also added a little border to the silver glimmer. Maybe I should have done that, but oh well. And then this time I'm going to add a little bit of the mint macaron just on one side, just to see if I like that better because I'd love to keep experimenting and changing things, even if I am happy with the first result. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Maybe I would like something more. Maybe I should keep going. And sometimes I regret it, and sometimes I'm really happy with the way, okay, this backing stayed on. All right, dimensional. Behave. So keep experimenting is my advice with colors. My first one um, of this color one, I used the white, you know, the Whisper White instead of this very vanilla. And that actually I think was a little better. So I forgot to add glue, but what you can do in those cases is once again, 
All right, so I was interrupted. I don't know why my camera shut down, but I was almost done with this card and it stopped on me. Oh well. Okay, we'll just keep building. <laughs> it sometimes happens, right? So here we have, I don't know why it's been shutting down on me halfway through. It's very annoying. Especially since I like to do one take. All right. Here we have the little bird. And this one I'm going to go ahead and raise up on dimensionals. The first one I didn't do that. If you do not have this kit, I feel really bad because it's just fantastic. All right, so here we're gonna have them coming up here. So let's see if we can fit both of these on or not. Oh, actually I think we kind of can. Okay. So I'm gonna glue that corner. If my glue will come out. Okay, it's not cooperating. Oh well. Oh. Okay. That works. came out <laughs> too much. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. I'll just get rid of the excess and go ahead and put it down. Oh, I like that. All right, so we'll bring back this in this one and I will add a little silver pearl like I did here. And what do you think of the difference? I think I like this other one better, the new one. And then we'll bring back in our original cards here. So here we have them all. The ones we did together. So thank you so much for watching. And if you want to order any products, please email me at meonce3 at gmail.com. I'd be happy to help you place an order. Happy stamping.